We have this concept called momentum, and we know that this quantity called momentum is called, it's conserved, the law of conservation of momentum. So in a collision, you can think of collision uh, like two rocks hitting each other or two cars hitting each other. But anyway, before the collision, you know, if you have this thing moving this direction, uh, and then you have some stationary thing like this and they're going to collide and they're going to be moving off, let's say, in different directions like this and like this. Or I'm just drawing these arrows. So this could be before and this could be after. But this particle has some momentum before the collision. It's mass times its velocity. And this particle has some momentum. It's mass times its velocity. If it's not moving, then the velocity is zero and there's no momentum. And the momentum has not only a number, but it has a direction associated with it. What this means when we say that momentum is conserved is that before a collision and after collision, the total momentum of the two particle system has to be the same. It has to be unchanged. So you can calculate how this thing is going to fly off at what angle and all that stuff based on knowing exactly what happens before. Because why? Because the momentum of the whole system here before and after has to be the same. The reason I'm bringing this up is because conservation of momentum, just like conservation of energy, is a fundamental law of our universe. It is uh, something that we've never seen an exception to in any experiment. Conservation of momentum is always true. Learn anything at mathandscience.com.